All right, now time to check in on how the roads are looking as the many holiday makers are starting to travel to the various destinations. Our reporter, Lutendo Babodi, at the N1 Limpopo. Uh, Lutendo, thank you so much for, for joining us. It looks fairly quiet there where you are uh, in terms of the visuals that I'm currently seeing. Talk to me about how the roads have been since this morning. Yeah, thank you so much. We're just outside Pulukwane. This is the N1. You see there, this um, the, the newly uh, built stretch of the N1. This is just between Pulukwane and Louis Trujillo. As you can see, and as we spoke earlier off air, it's, uh, it's it's quite a bit smooth now. It's not busy as it was in the morning around um, six. Uh, 6.30 in the morning, about 1,600 vehicles passing through Kranzkop and also Anel Plaza. Then it, it went down to about 1,050, now 1,009, and currently uh, just below 1,000, maybe uh, now to, uh, going down to uh, 500. You know, I think motorists have been quite smart this time around, you know, comparatively speaking. They, they hit the road early this time around, uh, trying to avoid delays uh, on the road. That's why we're seeing that. Uh, now the traffic volumes are, are, are petering down right now. We spoke to authorities earlier who warned motorists about um, the, the weather conditions in the province. It's been raining, drizzling, and uh, in some areas raining heavily. And um, the motorists have been warned to drive with an um, extreme caution. You know, we, we witnessed uh, some accidents, uh, especially uh, in Esterbeck or Makapan, uh, um, uh, called uh, Makapan area where um, it's a stretch of about 59.4 kilometers from um, between Bulukwane and Mokopane. We've been witnessing accidents there. Last week we uh, we reported on uh, fatal accidents happening there but this time around of course we've seen some freak accidents there and uh, fortunately no no fatalities, no injuries uh, right now. We have all, as we said earlier, we're also seeing uh, police visibility. We're seeing uh, a traffic official stationed by the side of the roads trying um, uh, to, to, to work and, you know, being on the thick of things, uh, stopping some of the vehicles that uh, they suspect and, um, you know, uh, also finding uh, those that are, are driving recklessly. I spoke about the accidents. Uh, they, they've been quite few and not uh, fatal, but, uh, you know, uh, it, it's not... Um, implausible you know it's not far-fetched you could see uh, uh, some accidents happening I'm looking at uh, uh, the, the, the kind of driving that uh, is happening on major roads especially the, the N1 you know quite reckless and arrogant Unat. And Lutendo, of course, uh, I'm happy that you're saying there's a visibility, you know, and as far as law enforcement authorities are concerned, we also obviously heard from the security cluster where we told the uh, Defence Force will also be deployed during this period. Now, of course, today is a public holiday, so we are probably going to start seeing more and more people travelling through that road. But, you know, just in terms of talking about the kind of vehicles that you're currently seeing now, you know, it is quieter than it was earlier this morning. Morning. Are we seeing more trucks on the roads, uh, just, um, you know, maybe holiday, smaller vehicles on the roads? I'm asking you this because the defense minister, one of the things that she said is that, you know, they are going to make sure that business runs as usual as much as possible. So trucks will not be blockading roads and, and you know, there won't be some form of uh, obstruction from even protesters. Yeah, you're quite right. We we seeing trucks, a lot of them on the roads, and I must commend them. They they are professional drivers. They've been driving quite well and making ways for uh, smaller vehicles. You know, we, we're seeing a lot of them on the road, especially those that are crossing over to uh, Zimbabwe. And we are also seeing a, a lot of vehicles uh, that are pulling trailers. And I uh, assume uh, they are going to Zimbabwe and beyond. We seeing that on the road, and also just your normal vehicles um, especially that are, are numbered uh, GP and, and, and Pumalanga uh, I, I guess that these are people that are, are visiting uh, uh, the tourist destinations uh, in the province but like as you said commercial vehicles a lot of them on the road but uh, the driving has been quite uh, uh, commendable and also police visibility and I think uh, uh, there has been um, a caution but uh, uh, as I said I'm also seeing reckless driving uh, especially with your your ordinary vehicles, your small uh, vehicles that um, uh, are quite disturbing uh, right now, Unat.
then though, with the you know uh, country remaining on level one, you know there are obviously concerns that people that are coming from provinces that have high numbers of you know Corona, uh, COVID-19. Um, will be descending into uh, you know, various provinces with, with the lower numbers. What are authorities saying in, uh, in Limpopo in terms of just some of those concerns around the spread of, of COVID-19, particularly because of this new variant that we are seeing that is highly transmissible? You know, they've been concerned. They've been gravely concerned over the last few weeks. Uh, we've had uh, the MEC of uh, Health in the province, Dr. Pobramatuba, even appealing to people coming from other provinces, those who are uh, um, playing their trades in other provinces that will, will be coming back home uh, for family visits or even for holidays. And she's been appealing to them to stay where they are, um, yeah, just to try and curb the spread uh, of this virus. Uh, and I was also expecting uh, to see, uh, you know, author health authorities, you know, maybe uh, stationing with uh, po police official, uh, traffic officials along the road, trying to, um, like they did in the previous year, trying to uh, uh, um, inspect people coming from uh, the other province. But of course, I'm not seeing that. But the concern is there that as we see uh, people now uh, coming through to the province, is that week, a week before Christmas, you see a lot of people coming through through to the, prov to the province to visit their families. There is that concern that uh, this um, may, of course, uh, compound the spread of the virus in this province, Unat. Nutendo, thank you so much for your time this afternoon.